Hi, welcome to my very first video. I recently made this awesome Game of Thrones desk light and I recorded the process and thought I would share that with you guys. So first of all, a list of the materials that you would need to complete this project. An Arduino Nano, some LED light strips, a photo frame, some acrylic cut to size of the photo frame, some various wires and some vinyl shapes to stick to the acrylic. You're also going to need some double sided sticky tape and with regard to the tools you're going to need a soldering iron, solder wire, wire cutters, wire strippers, scissors and a drill. First off, I remove all of the packaging from the photo frame and make some markings on the back plate so that I know the maximum visible area uh, once the frame is in place. Once the back plate has been marked, I measure how many LEDs are going to fit onto the back plate on the sides and the top and once I've taken that measurement, I cut the LED strips to size. On this occasion, I've used 9 on uh, each of the long sides, a 5 on the top, a 4 on the bottom, and then 3 rows of 6 in the centre. Now you see that I've made a small hole into the back plate, that's just for the wires to power the LED strips to be placed through. Once I've taken all the measurements, I simply peel off the uh, adhesive tape on the LED strips and stick them all into place. Once all of the LED strips are in place, I put the wires through that are going to power the LED strips and then I connect those wires onto the LED strips. I've connected the red to 5 volts, the black to ground and there is a brown wire that's connected onto the data line and that'll be connected onto the Arduino Nano. Once the wires to power the LED strips have been put in place, I then connect the remaining LED strips using some wire. I connect the ground to ground, 5 volts to 5 volts, and the data out from one LED strip onto the data in of the adjoining LED strip. Okay, so now that all the LEDs are set up in the frame, it's time to test them. In order to do that, we're going to have to program the Arduino. So, let's move over to the computer and we'll get that done now. Okay, so once we're on the computer, I'm going to check to make sure which port the Arduino is plugged into. I simply unplug it and then replug it while checking which port disappears and then reappears. Now, in order to power the LED strips, in order to colour the LED strips, I'm going to use the Fast LED Library. You can simply go to the Library Manager in the Arduino IDE, search for Fast LED, and it should pop up from there. Once I've confirmed that the Fast LED Library is available, I go to the Examples section and Fast LED and then I load up the demo reel 100 example. Okay, so once we're in the example, what I'm going to change for now is the number of LEDs and the LED strip type. 
what I'm taking note of is that data pin is set to pin number 3. This means I'm going to have to use digital pin number 3 on the Arduino Nano board to control the colour of my LED strips. Ok so once the example code has been uploaded to the Arduino board, I connect the 5V wire to the 5V pin on the Arduino board, the ground wire to the ground pin and the data wire onto the digital pin number 3 on the Arduino board. Once those connections have been made, I plug the board back in and make sure that all the LED lights are functional. Ok, so once the lights are done, I take a piece of acrylic that's been cut to size for the frame. I remove all the covering from the piece of acrylic and test fit some final cutouts. It's very important when you're placing your finals onto the acrylic that you smooth it out as you go to make sure that there's no bubbles in the, uh, in the design once it's all been placed. Once the design has been put onto the acrylic, I'm going to use some double sided sticky tape on the frame. This is going to secure the acrylic onto the frame and it can easily be removed in the future if needed. Um, but the double sided tape does actually hold the acrylic onto the frame really really well. And we have a finished Game of Thrones light. The only thing at this point is the light animation isn't very Game of Thrones themed. So what I'm going to do is walk back over to the computer and modify the example to try and give it a little bit more theme. So I spent some time looking at the demo D100 example and I think I've managed to create an animation that tells the story of Fire and Ice much more accurately. So I'll pop a link to my GitHub with the code for that for anyone who wants it down below. And there we have it, a finished Game of Thrones desk light. Now as I said earlier, it doesn't have to be Game of Thrones themed. You can use any type of vinyl that you want with any type of design on your vinyl. So, with all that being said, I'd like to say thanks for watching my very first video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions, and hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future.